Hi guys! Kumusta na po kayo? Hi guys! You know, a bit of a somber moment at the moment this week. The whole nation is mourning <coughs> for the passing of Queen Elizabeth. She was a queen for the people and she did a lot for the country in this country and abroad for other countries as well. But she was a very good queen, best queen we've had, and the longest reigning monarch mm -hmm. that this country's ever had. We went outside and uh, we noticed that uh, all the radio stations are playing sad song, you know, like no rock and roll. Showing respect to the queen, uh, playing the music she loved and just memories really and there's a lot of billboards with her picture on it yeah as you can see here we've got a couple of pictures of the queen this one here is when she was younger uh, not so long after she was crowned queen of england and this one here is a later picture uh, when she was getting into her uh, uh, mature years. Uh, well, everyone's sad. Everyone was shocked. It came. It came as such a surprise. Yeah, she was. She was so so happy. She was so alive during the jubilee, and then when when she appointed the new prime minister of England, she's still uh, happy. She looked well. She looked well, but uh, we noted that. Uh, but the viewers noticed that she has a, you know, like black uh, in the in her hands here. It's like um, dark uh, skin here, like maybe she's taking some medication. Yeah, injections, yeah. But it, it was so quick and such a shock. No one expected it. Two days after after appointing the Prime Minister, she died. Mm -hmm. And no one's given a reason for it yet. We don't know what she actually died of. Yesterday was a memorial service. Today, the new king was crowned. Yeah. Uh, now we have a king, King Charles III, which was the Queen's eldest son. Mm -hmm. Everybody's so amazed how Queen Elizabeth did her duty yeah. for 70 years. 70 years. And she's so loved by, by... By everybody. By everybody. Even people who aren't royalists. It has hit them as well. They, they feel sad as well. Mm -hmm. Even though they're not royalists, She's always been there. When I came here in UK, she's the Queen. She's the yeah. Queen of England, Queen, queen, queen England. Elizabeth. And every year, she's uh, she's celebrating her jubilee. Well, she's not celebrating her jubilee every year. A jubilee comes every twenty-five years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The silver jubilee, the golden jubilee, and then the platinum jubilee, mm. similar to a wedding. Okay. Right. But she celebrated her birthday every year. So we are uh, part of the people who are really sad. That's why we make this for her. I hope she's in heaven now. I hope she's happy now and peaceful. And God save the queen. But now. We can say, God save the queen. The king. king. Everyone's <laughs> making that mistake, honey. Mm -hmm. Because we're so used to saying, God save the queen. But now, we, but now we can say, God save the king. king. Because Prince Charles is the king now. Yep. And Queen Camilla is the, co is the queen consort. Yep. Yes. Everybody's uh, sad. You can feel it outside. The music in the radios is very slow, like, you know, it's 
very um, smooth. Smooth. There's no rock and roll. And you can see her picture all over the place in the billboards, in the magazine, in the newspaper. And everybody's talking about her now. Even some of my viewers is asking me, Oh, Queen Elizabeth died. Huh? I said, yes, this is a sad day. That's why we just uh, watched telly during, during that day when she passed. And we don't blog. We just keep on uh, watching telly yeah. and follow what happened. So, Thanks, guys, for all your thoughts and best wishes for our Queen and our country. Uh, we are celebrating her life. Yeah. I so, should think. I should think. Uh, this mood of the country at the moment will probably go on for the next week. Mm -hmm. uh, Until she really late. Until she's rest. laid to rest. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Prince Charles. There is now King Charles the Third. He he hasn't really had time to mourn because he had to go and open Parliament. He's so busy. The day the, the day after she died, mm -hmm. you know, he was there. You know, he was carrying on his mother's work straight away. Mm -hmm. But. Life goes on. Life goes on. And, well... There's a new king. There's a new king. God save the king. God save the king. And R.I.P. Queen Elizabeth II. Well, if you are just joining us, we're now watching this scene in Windsor in the Long Walk. We have Prince William and Kate and Prince Harry and Meghan who have taken to that path to greet, meet and say thank you to members of the public. Let's listen in. Charlene, I was just thinking that it was only um, a few years ago that the long walk there in Windsor was that crowded for Harry and Meghan's wedding in what seemed like an entirely different uh, era and what at the time felt like a new beginning for the royal family. So much has changed uh, in that time, so much acrimony ha has happened and we've now had uh, the passing of one brain to uh, another. The fact that the uh, Prince of Wales uh, offered to his brother, the Duke of Sussex, to join him on this uh, walkabout on the Long Walk, a place I've just said Harry and Meghan know well because this is where they were married. Uh, I think uh, we cannot overestimate the significance uh, of this moment uh, and what perhaps the passing of the Queen has done 
for the relations between these two brothers. Uh, I'm about to travel to Scotland where they've just released a lot of detail about the Queen's uh, coffin and the arrangements for her funeral, but I don't think anyone in the royal family, not anyone around the late Queen and not anyone around the new King will mind one bit that right now this uh, is the focus of our uh, attention and the attention of the nation, what is happening right now on the long walk in Windsor.
And welcome if you're just joining us. We are going to stay with these pictures on this Specialised Food News programme as Prince William and Kate and Prince Harry and Meghan have taken to the long walk in Windsor to thank and pay their respects alongside the public to the Queen. I've got to say, Penny, that was quite something. Yes, I mean, to see yes. the four of them in front of that car, then all four of them get into the same car, same. considering what has happened over the last few years, that is quite amazing. Absolutely. I mean, those four could not stand to be in each other's sights. It was quite obvious over the, over the past months. This is remarkable. And it may not be that, that the relationship is back to square one, but this is certainly the start of something, I would guess. I would hope. Oh, well, Penny, we all do hope for that. I mean, Chris earlier was saying that the last time we saw these crowds on the long walk, we were full of hope. That was when Prince Harry and Meghan got married. I was standing on that long walk talking to members of the public. Yeah. Yeah. I was and then to see where we have gone to and to see where we are today as a result of the death of their grandmother is truly something. It would make her a happy... <laughs> Really Wherever it, she I is. think it's probably made not only people down there quite emotional, but I think people who have been watching quite emotional as well. When you think about the sort of headlines that we've seen regarding Megan over the last few years, you would think that she is universally a figure of hate. She takes to the long walk in Windsor there. You had girls in tears. There's really sweet moments where she embraced the young woman who was in so much shock when she saw her. Saw her. And this is the moment when they, when they walked out of those gates and that's when the public realised that they were going to have their moment with Prince Harry, with Meghan, with Prince William and Kate. And, I don't know, it's, 
it's what we've all hoped for. It is. It we is. hoped it wouldn't have taken the death of the Queen for that to happen, but it is something that so many of us have hoped for. Well, if there's a good outcome, surely this is it. Yeah. And, and you know, Megan, people were so excited, yes, to see the four of them, but I think Megan, because she doesn't live here, um, it's very rare that people get to get any kind of interaction with her. Uh, it was honestly I would have fascinating thought, you know, to it, see. I would have thought it would be quite nerve-wracking for her, actually. Can you imagine? I mean, she would have seen the headlines. She would have seen, read the books that have been written about her. But, you know, people have not, not, they've turned against her. The majority of people in this country, I think. Well, and, and I think majority who shout the loudest. I think when yeah, you have a look maybe, at those who maybe, truly maybe. have love for the royal family, the way in which she was embraced amongst that crowd, the reaction that she provoked in so many people. As you say, when they were when they were last on that long walk, the whole country, I would say, uh, um, was in love with her. You know, they they were so pleased for them on that wedding day. So I think, I mean, you know. <laughs> It's been a rocky road for her. I would have thought it's taken some guts, actually, yeah. to get back here. Yeah, and it's a rocky road for those brothers as well. I mean, yes, we see them standing side by side and talking amongst and stuff, looking at those flowers on screen right now. And, you know, it's, it's not easy considering what it is that they have, have been through, but they both loved their grandmother. And there is something about grief that really does unite a family, doesn't it? It does, it does. And it's been wonderful to, to, to see here. And, you know, this is, I know this isn't to overshadow what, what happened two days ago. That is not to overshadow the death of the Queen in any shape or form. But it could be, it's incredible to see what that has sparked and what we are going to see going forward. Seeing Prince Charles take to, <laughs> take to the path just behind us just yesterday and greeting members of the public and then witnessing what we have seen today in Windsor. It does provoke hope, doesn't it, Penny? Absolutely it does. And I think that's, you know, that's been apparent from, from yesterday when Prince, I keep saying Prince Charles, when am I going to stop? <laughs> when the new king um, made his speech and, and was so, so positive, so grief-stricken, so he hit such a perfect note. And I think it was an indication of, oh, here, is he out? Is he out? Is he... <laughs> we just heard, we just heard a, <laughs> a, a bit of a roar behind us, so we're just wondering what's happening behind us at the at the gates of Buckingham Palace. Um, but it is so, a oh, hopeful yeah. period. Out of the, the grief and the the distress of the of the death of the Queen, um, but she was an old lady. We knew it had to happen sooner or later. Um, but if some good can come out of it, if if there can be a smooth transition for the new king, if, if the family can be re reunited. And clearly, you know, well, the, the, I, it's too much to say the nation, but certainly all the people, the crowds in Windsor and here and Balmoral, they love this family. Yeah. I think it's, it's a real day of optimism. Yeah, and I think seeing a united family can never be a good thing. Penny, thank you so much um, for, for talking to us. Actually, do you know what? I think you might get to stay for a little bit longer just in case um, Charles comes out. So please don't go anywhere just yet. Um, so we'll take a break from those remarkable scenes at Windsor for just a moment. Um, because other members of the royal family were also out today to view the huge numbers of flowers left for the Queen and to see the crowds who had gathered across the country. Glenn Chapman has more. <laughs> At Balmoral this afternoon, the crowds who gathered at the place where the Queen passed away were greeted by her three youngest children. Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward expressing their gratitude two days after losing their mother. Where have you come from? Thank you. Together with some of the Queen's grandchildren, they paused to look at the flowers and messages. The emotion obvious on the face of Prince Edward's wife, Sophie. Princess Beatrice, comforted by her father, Prince Andrew, overcome at the many tributes left to her grandmother. Do you feel for her family as well as you would feel for, a, you know, a neighbour's family, um, what they're going through and how they're suffering. Because they're, it's their mum, it's their grandma, as, as well as being, you know, our Queen who has served us for a very long time. For many, the weekend presented the first opportunity to pay their respects, 
people queuing in nearby Ballata for buses to take them to Balmoral. Many hundreds of miles further south, thousands of well-wishers descended on another royal palace, Windsor, some travelling from across the country to be there. I am really quite surprised how emotional I feel about it and how we suddenly last night said, should we go up to Windsor from Southampton, should we go? to be amongst it. This affected her deeply seeing it. So she wanted to come here and lay some flowers and show her respect and definitely just remember it. It's going to be in her memories forever. In London, an area of Green Park close to Buckingham Palace has become a garden of remembrance as people came together to share their fondest memories of the Queen. I got big flowers for her and I made sure it was really colourful because the Queen always wears something colourful. And as the bands played outside the palace, the mood seemed to shift here from one of shock to one of reflection. We're sad, but we're also glad to be a part of it, I guess, to be able to pay our respects the way that we are able to. Um, yeah, really celebrating the Queen's life, really, yeah. except for, you know, all the, time, all the years that she's been on the throne. This afternoon, the crowds cheered to welcome the newly proclaimed king home to Buckingham Palace. The affection they feel for the Queen, matched by support for those who will continue her service. Ben Chapman, ITV News. Well, thank you for, for sticking with us this afternoon as we um, look at the life of the Queen, but also the events of a historic day. Earlier we saw Prince William and Prince Harry and Kate and also Meghan in Windsor. And just now, just behind me, King Charles III left Buckingham Palace. He left Buckingham Palace in his car and the roar of the crowd, I don't know if, you, if you're able to, to hear it, but the roar of the crowd was a very early indication that, uh, that King Charles was on his way out. And the reaction here was just incredible. I can't see the Queen Consort in the car with him, so it was just King Charles that was um, exiting Buckingham Palace. But honestly, it's something that the crowd here have been waiting for all day.